Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Um, muchas gracias. Um, uh, could you tell us, for the benefit of our viewers, um, describe briefly the mandate of the UN mission there and what it's trying to achieve? Well, the mandate of the mission is basically to verify that the parties are doing what they're supposed to be doing in terms of the peace agreement reached in 2016. And as you know, uh, that was a, a very landmark uh, agreement in many ways. And, and one of the, the reasons is because it's not a, a, an agreement that was supposed to demobilize the former guerrilla and reintegrate them into, into Colombian society, but rather was trying to address the root causes of conflict. Uh, in, in, in many ways, it has uh, many elements, uh, comprehensive elements, like rural reform, political participation, addressing um, illicit crops, which is a, a, a problem, a big problem in the country. So we're basically here to verify uh, the parties, but also to encourage them when we, when, whenever we see that they're lagging in certain areas in, the, in terms of their obligations, we actively encourage them to continue uh, implementing them. So, um, so verify and encourage. Um, have you been successful in doing that? Can you repeat? Well, we, we like to we like to believe so. Uh, it's a, as I said, it's a very ambitious uh, agreement as such. So we are uh, uh, basically encouraging encouraging them. Uh, we've been uh, successful in the sense that there are particular areas that you can sense uh, a, a lot of progress, particular reintegration of ex-combatants particularly in taking development to conflict-affected areas. But obviously, we have big challenges. The agreement has a, a timeline of about 10 to 15 years whenever, uh, from, it, from its signature, which was in 2016. So we are step-by-step step, uh, uh, going in the, in the right direction. We are working and we are helping Colombia to consolidate its peace, uh, its peace process, its peace. Uh, but, uh, but we have always a challenges ahead. Very interesting. Uh, Jeremy. In here uh, for this uh, broadcast. Goal 16 is all about peace and justice. How important is it that individuals become involved in the peace process? And from everything that you've learned, what can you say to inspire people to become involved? I, I, I will let Marina address that, that question, Jeremy, if, 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 you're, if you're fine with it, because yes, uh, gender, gender has been a, a very much uh, inclusive element in, in this, in yeah, this but, Thank you, Carlos. I actually did address the uh, question to Marina, so I would be delighted if Marina answered it. Thank you so much, sir. Perfect. Marina. Buenas tardes. Bueno, lo de, el proceso de paz es central eh, eh, que se involucren las mujeres tanto a nivel mundial como en Colombia. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, and in uh, Colombian peace process, it is very important and it's very central that women uh, are involved in, in the in the process in the peace process. Las mujeres somos garantías para que haya éxito en el proceso de paz en cualquier parte del mundo. Women are we are women are guaranteed that uh, any peace process in the world are successful. Aseguramos la convivencia. Aseguramos eh, la reconciliación. Aseguramos también la reconstrucción de las comunidades. We uh, ensure uh, coexistence, we ensure reconciliation, and we ensure uh, a very peaceful uh, uh, communities. A la vez estamos trabajando por la agenda de igualdad de las mujeres que se requiere en el mundo y que lo, lo, los ODS en este momento pues también nos llevan hacia allá. We are working in the women agenda in the world with the 1325 resolution the UN resolution, and uh, women are very important uh, role in, in this process. Jeremy. Um... Oh, thank you. Thank you um, very much, Marina. Um, we are short of time. We are about to uh, interview the Deputy Secretary General. It's amazing to come to Colombia. It's wonderful to hear your voices. Very the best of luck with all of the work that you're doing. The country is an inspiration. I know it well. And um, thank you so much for telling us a little bit about the incredible work that you do. So thank you both for joining us. 
Muchas gracias. It's a pleasure. Good luck.